I'm Anita Lash and I'm here inside the Hub Culture studio. Really pleased that James Cocaine has stopped by. Thanks very much for coming by. Great to be here, Edie. So the director at the UN University Center for Policy Research. Now, you are here talking in Davos a lot about human slavery. Give me, first of all, the sense of the problem. 40.3 million people estimated to be in modern slavery currently. That's about one in every 185 people on Earth, despite mm. the fact that we thought we outlawed slavery a long time ago. Uh, we need to remove 10,000 people a day from that number if we're going to meet the SDG target, target 8.7. And that right sounds now, ambitious. Yeah, right now we're nowhere near that goal. So we need to think about scaling, we need systemic response, and we need to get ambitious. Okay, so tell me one thing, one aspect that you're working on that seems like it could start to bring 10,000 people out, if not today, then in the near future. So at UN University, we've been working a lot with the financial sector through the Liechtenstein Initiative uh, mm -hmm. on financial sector commission on modern slavery and human trafficking because finance is exposed to all business and a lot of this problem, about 25 million of the 40 million, are in forced labour, hmm. so in, uh, in essentially illegal practices in the marketplace. Like climate change, modern slavery is a, problem, uh, is a market failure. We're not pricing right. correctly these labour practices and that creates externalities in the economic sense that we're pushing off not just onto the victims mm -hmm. but actually onto society as a whole. Uh, there's some good evidence from the UK government researchers that suggest that the direct cost of every case of human trafficking is about 400,000 uh, US dollars hmm. and in the UK alone there's estimated to be 13,000 people in this problem. So you do the, the math, it gets to be pretty big uh, numbers pretty quickly. We need to find ways to price that correctly into the products and services in the marketplace and the financial sector is central to that work because it's investing in mm -hmm. these businesses, it's banking them, the profits have to go somewhere, $150 billion in profits hmm. uh, estimated by the ILO every year. That's got to go somewhere. It goes right. through the banking system so the people who are banking these businesses can see the transactions and can use the analysis of the transactions to find where the modern slavery is in the first place. But how do you figure out what's a, what's a transaction that is related to modern slavery and not? There's been a lot of great work on that in recent years. Uh, and in particular, there's some fantastic work using artificial intelligence mm -hmm. now to pass huge amounts of data to understand what is a healthy business transaction and what is something that suggests perhaps uh, somebody is involved in trafficking. So I'll give you an example. Some recent work from uh, the Netherlands suggests that one indicator is if the money goes into the account and immediately comes back out hmm. uh, of an employee, that's a, you know, if it's all going out, that's I not see. a normal rate of spend. When right. we get paid, you know, the number comes down slowly while we spend it on everything. Right. Uh, but if it's going straight in and straight out, that's a, a good indicator something is going on. And then there are other indicators you can use to, to really build a clearer picture. Interesting. And how do you build partnerships with banks, with financial institutions to do this? Well, there's a lot of leadership now coming from the financial sector and from governments. Mm -hmm. uh, as a result of the Sustainable Development Goals, there are initiatives like the Liechtenstein Initiative. In the UK, there's been a call to action mm -hmm. on forced labour and modern slavery and human trafficking. 85 countries have signed mm -hmm. up to that, including not only the obvious suspects, but uh, countries like Nigeria, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, China. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's, there is a movement in the market. Uh, to begin to tackle this problem, but there's a long way to go to really allow us to find that risk and address it effectively. Thanks very much, James, for coming by to talk to me about modern slavery here at Hub Culture Davos 2020.